play uh, Sir Gwyn. For that. Bring out Draco Seth. Availability. Let's go. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> GG. What a turn. What a turn. <laughs> Look at all those beefy monsters on the field. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Slayer's Den. It's Slay Anything and today I'm playing one of the jankiest decks I've played in a while. It's called Dragon Hammer Fire in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. Now the engine of the deck is Fires of Invention, which if you're unfamiliar with Fires of Invention, allows you to cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control. The main stipulation with Fires of Invention is that you can only cast up to two spells per turn and you can only cast spells on your turn. Luckily for us, we don't have a lot of instant speed spells, so that's not really much of a drawback. Once you get your Fires of Invention down, that's when the crazy shit really starts to begin. Because starting turn four, you can play cards like Shatter the Sky, Storm's Wrath, and Kai his wrath to sweep the board and help you against aggro. Turn 5, you can play cards like Perforos, Cavalier Flame, Corvold, and Elspeth to help you clear the board and or swing in for a ton of damage. And then on the top end, you have Sir Gwyn, Garuk, Casualties of War, and Dracuseth, Maw of Flames, which can just end games by itself. So some cool synergies I have in this deck include Treacherous Blessing with Vraska Golgari Queen, which Vraska allows you to sacrifice another permanent, gain a life, and draw a card as her plus two ability. So you can get rid of the Treacherous Blessing before it starts becoming too detrimental, causing you to lose life for every spell you cast. And you also have a ton of craziness with Sir Gwyn's secondary ability, which allows you to give knights equip zero for their equipment. So when you have Colossus Hammer out and a Sir Gwyn, Sir Gwyn as well as Cavalier of Flame both have equip zero and can just swing in for at least 15 damage basically. Overall, this deck seems like a total blast to play, so let's give it a whirl. And if you haven't already, please remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons below. It's not just a great way to support my channel, it's also a great way for you to stay up to date with my current and future content. And best of all, it's completely free. So without further ado, let's play some Magic the Gathering. Miles hires the name. Alright folks, welcome back. We are playing some Dragon Hammer Fire in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. And we're going to keep this one because we do have Fires of Invention in hand. So why not play Temple of Abandon? And uh, we need land, so we will... As much as having Corvold would be pretty cool, we could keep that and just draw into lands. We have plenty of turns here. I'm not like in a rush to get lands. Alright, so Temple of Epiphany. Looks like we could be going against Is it or Teamer. Uh, we'll play the Godless Shrine and let that enter tapped. And we'll just pass the turn. There's the Teamer I was looking for. Play Temple of Plenty. And uh, yeah, we'll hold on to that one. Next, and the turn. Okay. Ooh, Teamer Elementals. Haven't seen you in a while, good friend. We will play a mountain. We'll play a Fires of Invention. And um, yeah, we're going to play Treacherous Blessing because we we draw a fifth land, which we, gotta have, we have a good chance of. We have Corvold to sack the Treacherous Blessing, so we had a pretty decent payoff there. Chandra. Okay. Okay, Chandra. So we take four here. Yes. There's much pain to be had here. So I will play the Overgrown Tombed tapped. Then we're going to play Corvold. Yes. Yep. Take a damage. We'll sack that. Draw a card. And uh, we have one more spell left to play. So we are going to play... Mm, We'll play another Treacherous Blessing, I think. Well, well, do we need another Treacherous Blessing is the question. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Let's play it. And we get to discard some lands, I guess. We'll discard a Blood Crypts. Get rid of an Overgrown Tomb because we have plenty of green and we'll get rid of one of our Fires of Inventions. So if the Corvold makes it out, we can sack Treacherous Blessing. Um, but if not, we've got like Shatter the Sky and stuff, so I'm not like super concerned about like being overrun by creatures or something like that. Mm, okay. 
Well, that is a quite a bit of damage there. So we are going to take four, sure. <clears throat> um, we'll play Blood Crypt, tapped. We're also going to play Cavalier of Flame, take a damage. Discard Swamp, Sacred Foundry, and Fires here. Draw three. Yes. Oh, shit. Then we'll play... we got Haste here. Swing in. Right here. Right there. Sack the Treacherous Blessing. And... Let's play Sir Gwyn. Sure. Opponent could just pop off here. We are at 10. Um, so we can take a lot of damage for sure. Uh, let me see. Non elemental. I've got a. Oh, I got my Cavalier Flame still. Nice. Or creature or Planeswalker? Sure. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, we are at least going to Dragon Hammer here. That goes in tapped. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's play this. Sir Gwyn. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. This fun while it lasted. Dragon Hammer Fire. Alright folks, welcome back. We are playing some Dragon Hammerfire in Standard Magic the Gathering Arena and not a great hand. Not a great hand for sure. Doesn't have any of the things that we really need. No card draw. But this is a slow deck so it's like one of those things where you sometimes can rationalize keeping it. Um, so we'll go and hold on to... we'll play Temple of Vanden. See if we can find like a fires or land. That's fine. So we get the fires on top. We're going against Mind Virus. So, ooh, mono red. Okay. Play a Windscarred Crag, gain a life, pass the turn. Play an Overgrown Tomb, tapped, and we'll pass the turn. We do need to get a land so we can fires and shatter. Should be nice. Deafening Clarion, okay. Well, there's the fucking Deafening Clarion we needed, but, uh, so we have this. Gain a life is unfortunate, guys. Another Steamkin. Taking a lot of damage here. Corvold. That's sad. Okay. But that's okay. Because now we get to play Fires and Shatter. And the opponent just gets to draw a card. So. Okie dokie. Play a Bloodfell Caves and a Cavalier of Flames. And we'll discard the Submit Zero. We don't have to discard anything, actually. I'm gonna play a little control here. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna Perforos and Dracuseth. So, whatever the opponent wants to do, they get to do. Otherwise, I think I can maybe GG them, right? Yeah, I think I can. Faux show, actually. Because I could play the Perforos. If I draw land, then I can Perforos, Sir Gwyn, and Dracuseth, and then that would be fucking GG, so. And that would be a sick, sick turn. Alright, opponent is wondering what to do about my Cavalier Flame, I guess? They have been stuck on two lands, which does suck, but it's mono red. They get what's coming to them. At least, that's what I think. Opponent's thinking, thinking. <laughs> opponent just passes. Well, there's the land we were looking for. That tapped. Play uh, Sir Gwyn. Play that. Bring out fucking Draco Seth. Availability. Let's go. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> GG. What? A turn. What a turn. <laughs> Look at all those beefy monsters on the field. 
Guru. What's up, Guru? And what's up, everyone? We are playing some Dragon Hammer Fire in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. And, uh, yeah, we'll go and keep this one. Let's see what's, uh, coming. We do need to get the fires, I think, out sooner rather than later. So we'll put things like the Cavalier on the bottom. We're going to be shuffling things again with the Fabled Passage anyway, so not as big of a deal as one would imagine. Okay, so we got Leaf Kindruid. I'll go and play a Blood Fell Caves and just uh, pass the turn here. Leon Ling. Okay, okay, I see you. Interesting. Do not challenge a raging river. Do not challenge a raging river. We're gonna go play a Castle Lockplane. Play Castle Lockplane, just pass the turn. So next turn we can actually Vraska and destroy Muyon Lang. So don't think that's too terrible. I think that is the play. So we'll do this. Grab a Plains, I think. Let's see what the opponent has for me, though. I'm gonna grab the Vraska. And, uh, let's see, let's destroy this. I think if we destroy this, the Muyon Ling isn't as big of a deal. Like, we can get Destiny Spinnered out here. Cavalier of Thorns, okay. That's gonna be a pain in the ass, yes. But if we can draw a white mana, then we have uh, Shatter the Sky. Following turn, we can Elspeth Conquer's Death. So I guess we have a few different options. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do, um, I guess let's clear the board of at least two threats. Just end the turn. Eek. Eek, eek, eek. Okay. So we don't want that getting out of hand. Let's grab a... Uh, oh. There's the second planes. Now, do we risk it? I think we just play this, but we take 10. Shit, that's a lot. I think we play the mountain. Play Cavalier of Flames. Gives us a blocker. Discard the forest. Sacred Foundry. Okay, so that's something. That's something. Learn some respect. Mm, we block here? Block? Shatter the sky? <sighs> and then we can Elspeth the Muyon Ling. Right. Well, they can do that, which is uh, pretty scary because they can bring back their um, Nyx Bloom Ancient. So we're not out of the woods quite yet, but if they do that, then I can Garuk. Okay, that's something to be concerned about for sure. Okay, so let's play Temple of Plenty down the bottom. Let's play a Fires of Invention and do we Garuk? and destroy something, or do we Elspeth and destroy the Muyonling? The Muyonling is annoying. Sure. Let's get rid of the Cavalier. I think that's the way we want to go here. Because then we can bring back Cavalier, or even Vraska, actually. We bring back Vraska. There we go. Destiny Spinner. Okay, sure. Okay, so take five here. Not what we're looking for, no. Um, let's play Garuk. Got a good head on those shoulders. And let's um, create two two twos. We are the apex predator. Play a Colossus Hammer. Now is that silly or what? And uh, I'll just end the turn here. Alright, so I don't think the opponent's going to swing in with both. I think what they're going to do is swing in with this. Oh, maybe make another 1-1 one, one too. That's also another option. 
Okay. We got a 1-1. One, one. I still get a blocker, so it's not that was big of a deal. Okay. Two blockers, sure. So they do can they can kill Garuk here, but they do have to kill a wolf in order to make that happen. And I will kill a forest, so I'm cool with that actually. Oh, all towards me. Okay, so pass the blockers. Go here, go here. Let's see, do they have like giant growth or something? Straw card. Oh, that's nice. Grab a Cavalier, I think. Let's see the, how much life they have. 18? Yeah, we'll grab Cavalier. Plus one, plus one. Let's card that. So first things first, we play... I think we can just kill them straight out like this, right? Because that's seven, that's 11, 18, yeah. So we go two of these. We were born. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> nice. Let's go. All right, folks, welcome back. We are playing some Dragon Hammer Fire in Standard Magic the Gathering Arena. We'll go keep this one because we do have two card draw spells. So hopefully with some kind of luck, we will be able to draw into that. Uh, turn one, we will go and play a Temple of Abandon. Let's rush into the fires if we can. There we go. Not too shabby. We'll scour barons next turn. We'll just kind of set ourselves up for a turn three um, deafening clarion. I think it's probably the way we gotta go. Child of Night, okay. What is this, Sparky's deck? Alright, play Mountain. I feel like I'm definitely playing Sparky's deck here. Even passing like Sparky. All right, something is suspicious. Pay two life. Fires of invention. Treacherous blessing. Draw three. All right. Well, it's not Sparky. It's just Sparky never concedes. <laughs> Gabiru. All right, folks. We'll go and keep this one because we do have thrill and fires of invention. So we have something we're working toward. All right, we'll go and play the Bloodfell Caves. Gain a life. Pass a turn. See what Gabidu is up to. Next turn, we will play the Swamp, and then we can Thrill, maybe? Fun plays a Cauldron from there. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna play another... I guess another Jun deck. Okay. And the turn. We will, um, Thrill at the end of the opponent's turn. Take one from the Cauldron familiar here. Okay, okay. We don't have many clean answers to Witch's Oven. We have Heliod's Intervention and Vraska, I think, are probably our main ways of getting rid of something like that. So would love to draw into something like that. That'd be great. Or, you know, we could draw an, our second Colossus Hammer. Uh, we'll the center tapped and uh, play a Colossus Hammer just to flex on the opponent. Weird flex, I know. But okay. I love the sound that the Colossus Hammer makes too. It's just like, it is definitely a heavy ass hammer. Um, but next turn we will go ahead and just Fires and Treacherous, probably. That way we can hopefully get into our Vraska sooner rather than later. Um, would also be nice to uh, draw into Heliod, just in case they draw their second, third, and fourth Witches of them, and we can just kind of at least keep them on their heels, kind of like we did with that Jun Sacrifice deck game that we just played, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see. So we take one from the cat. Alright, alright, so here we will pay the two, play Fires, and uh, yeah, we'll play Treacherous Blessing here. I'm trying to dig as deep as possible into the deck so that way we can see if we can get like Vraska or Heliod going. Even a sweeper right now is great just because we can force them to, you know, lose a few creatures on the board. So I'm not really minding it too much. Um, Casualties of War is actually pretty great here, but we did draw the, the Vraska, so that's pretty nice. So assuming, assuming the opponent doesn't have like instant speed removal, like Swift End, Vraska can take care of Witch's Oven. Okay. 
But hopefully the opponent commits one more creature to the board, and if they do, I will play Deafening Clarion and then Broska. So I take two here. Feels bad, man. Sure. Uh, let's go play Mountain. Play a Deafening Clarion, I guess. Hold up. Play the free version, though. Force a sacrifice here. Okay, and then we'll Vraska. And uh, yeah, we'll go just sacrifice Treacherous Blessing here because it will end up hindering us a lot more than helping us. So the opponent can bring back one of their cats, do damage to me, swing in at Vraska for one, but it won't matter at that point because then I'll just have enough loyalty to destroy the Witch's Oven and play hopefully like a threat. Opponent seems like they've been mana screwed, so, you know, feels bad, man, for them, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And it's kind of risky to just leave Vraska open when the opponent could have a Swamp and a Swift End, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Let's go ahead and destroy the Witch's Oven here. And um, we can play, uh, play another Treacherous Blessing here. We'll play a Sir Gwyn. <laughs> and our 15-15 menace out on the field right now. Opponent could still have removal, so... You know, I'm not like feeling super duper confident or anything like that, but if the opponent's still mana screwed, they're definitely feeling like, well, what the hell, I'm pretty much dead here. Nice, nice, nice. 15-15, Vigilance Menace. All right, folks, welcome back. We are playing some Dragon Hammer Fire in Standard Magic the Gathering Arena. We'll go keep this one because we do have Treacherous Blessing. Play the Godless Shrine tapped. Hello! Say hello to Press Coal. Another mono red deck. Okay, let's see. Play a mountain and pass the turn. Hmm. A robber? Robber the Rich, okay. Not my land! My land! Alright, so play this, play Treacherous Blessing, Let's see if we can pull off the top. Well, there is the um, Deafening Clarion, so that's nice. We'll be able to cast that next turn. Tin Street Dodger, sure, sure. Kaya's Wrath, okay. Cool with me. So we take quite a bit here. Let's go ahead and Deafening here. Let's wipe the board real quick. Play the Overgrown Tomb tapped. And the next turn we can Fires, Shatter. If necessary. So let's go ahead and Temple of Abandoned Scry. Is that something we need? Nope. So put that in the bottom. Play Fires of Invention. Corvold. Sack. Treacherous Blessing. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do from here. Uh, yeah, we got a block. 100%. Okay, so opponent trades there. Play Blood Crypt, tapped. Sir Gwyn. Let's see if the opponent has something for this. Got something for a 15 15. The opponent plays a Bone Crusher Giants. I think I could have just won there, but um, let's go ahead and just play Thrill, discard uh, Treacherous, Sacred Foundry, and the turn. Block. <laughs> okay, opponent attacks with their Ember Cleave into my Sir Gwyn. Nice.
and Sir Gwyn takes down Mono Red. Nice, nice, nice. All right, folks, this looks like a good place to end the video, and I had a total blast playing this deck. Dragon Hammer Fire was all that was promised and it truly did deliver. This deck is crazy as Fires of Invention is a great uh, engine for casting these huge cards like um, Perforos, Cavalier Flames, Corvold, um, Sir Gwyn, Garu, Casualties of War, and finally Dracu Seth Moth Flames doing a ton of work there as you can see. I did of course need to jank it up my special way so having Sir Gwyn and Colossus Hammer just swing in the final game there was so cool and so so fulfilling for sure. Overall this is a deck that I would recommend playing if you you have the cards a lot of the cards i have are like rares and mythics it's just stuff that i've kind of collected over the past few months while playing mtg arena um it's super super janky as you can see there's so many times where i could have just won outright and i just needed to get sir gwyn out there with a hammer instead of just winning with cavalier flames so but yeah it was super fun like i said i had a blast playing it and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video as well and if you did please remember to smash the like and subscribe buttons Below. It's not just a great way to help support my channel and help my channel grow, it's also a great way to stay up to date with my current and future content, and best of all, it's completely free. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below, and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers. Thank <laughs> you.